Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in today's video I'm going to show you some looping expressions in After Effects. This way you can loop your animations with some easy uh, text you can create in the expressions box. So here in After Effects I've got this little animation of these, this little text that's just having a position and a rotation. It's just like turning around a little bit and we have these four balls and they're all their anchor point is here in the middle so when I turn them around I rotate them they're going from the middle point so they only have this rotation from 0 to 90 to 180 to 270 to 360 degrees so they all turn around and they're just offset by one keyframe to make it a bit more interesting so this is a very basic animation and uh, when it stops the last keyframe it stops animating but what if I want to keep this going? What I can do is copy all these keyframes and paste them uh, on there and then they will keep going. But we can do that with an expression as well. So I'm gonna hold option on my keyboard and I'm gonna click on the stopwatch here. And then I have the expressions box opening. And this is, I am using uh, Adobe CC 2019, the, the latest update as of today. So the expressions box has just been updated, so it's way more easier. But if you have an old version, you can easily follow along because it's the same, the same thing. This will only help you right now with creating these expressions. But the expression goes as follows. It's, you type loop out with a capital O on the out. And then here you can already see what it's supposed to be. Open parenthesis and uh, close one and that's it. That's your basic looping expression. It's uh, the same as uh, double quotation and a cycle uh, that's the same uh, as just leaving it blank and this will just cycle through your animations I'm gonna leave this out here and what this will do you can see the position of this looping uh, text is now looping so when it's done here it will keep uh, going on a position so I'm gonna select all this press command C I'm gonna paste this expression on all my other values here on the rotations of these balls so like that so now they're all having this looping expression so it first goes through my first four or five keyframes and then it's done they all keep going for eternity so that's the, the very basic looping out expression um, but what I can also do is is within these parentheses I can type some values so first I'm going to add a double quotation mark and then you can let's go for ping pong and what ping pong does hello ping pong it will keep looping back and forth so I'm gonna copy this paste them on the other ones here so what this does is that after this is done like this it will start over again turning the other way around it will turn back and when it's done again right about there then it, it will keep ping ponging back and forth again into eternity uh, then I'm going to let's see I'm going to delete my um, expressions for now if you hold option and click on the stopwatch you'll delete all the expressions so now it's back to normal what I'm going to do is on the last keyframe I'm going to change the position of these balls because they're starting at zero degrees and they're ending at 360 degrees or one rotation so that means that they end in the exact same position as the first one so they will so the looping out expression will make it turn exactly the way again so what I want to do is I'm going to put this value at like 20 degrees extra so it now it doesn't stop uh, here but it stops a little bit further up so I'm gonna do it with all of these all right let's see oops and then here we have 20 and then this one also 20 so now the end part is a bit further off so if I'm going to if I would loop this out um, let's let's do the th same thing again copy all of them uh, all right so if I would do this, then if it ends here, they will just uh, snap back to the first point because it starts looping from the first point again. But I want them to loop from this point again. So what we're going to do then is add the quotation marks and then go to offset like that. Copy all of that, put them on. Oh no, not on this one because this can just, let's just, just leave this at the same for now. Uh, let's put them only on the ball for now so like that and then you see that the balls are uh, on a different position and then they don't snap back they just start here and then they keep going from that point so this way you could create a, create a looping animation that also kind of changes over time and 
in a while it will turn it will go back to the first uh, part again of course but there you can see it's a, diff a little bit of a different looping animation uh, so that's basically the things you need to know for looping out but what, what we can also do if i press u to close them all up i'm gonna um no press u again i'm gonna drag these uh keyframes over here and i'm going to change the expression if you double press e on your keyboard then you can open all the expression boxes for all your layers and instead of loop out i'm gonna go with loop in um, copy that uh, over there oh let's keep them let's keep the offset now let's just make this uh, a regular one by the way i'm going to change these values back to zero just to keep it um, clear and not get too messy here and zero so now it has this loop in animation because what the loop out animation does is that after your uh, keyframes are done it's going to loop out at the end but with your loop in animation it uh, expression sorry uh, everything will keep on looping right before up until your keyframes so now it's looping here without any keyframes here and when it comes to my keyframes it does the same thing over again of course but then on the last keyframe it stops so that's where you, where you can use your loop in expression just to add the looping effect before and then you can um, with your keyframes you can put an end to it if you would like um, yeah so that's the basic thing about a really easy way to create some looping expressions you only really need these three four things uh, to create the most looping expressions you want uh, and it looks great and it's really easy to do uh, thanks for watching and i hope to see you on the next camp keyframe thanks bye bye